And maybe for some of us, we had that same situation. We'd get mad about it. We'd be sitting there, you know, what's wrong with you? What do you say? I can't go into the promised land. What's the, what's the point going on? What are you going to do now? I don't know. He says, I can't go. I went all this time. You know, I thought he loved me and cared about me, but I asked him. He told me, don't tell me anything about it no more. I can't go in, so that's, that's it. Maybe we would take that position, but Moses just kept on doing what he had to do. And that was it. He didn't get mad at God. He didn't curse God. He just, you know? So Jesus was crucified on a cross. He was hung up there, stretched out. He was beaten so terribly until they, they said you couldn't even recognize who he was. He was mocked. He was spit on. He was beaten. Had a crown of thorns pushed down on his head. <clears throat> went into the tomb. I mean, he went through all that stuff. But he looked at us, each one of us, and he loved us so much until he, he said, I'm going to do it anyway. He never got mad at God. He never, he, he didn't do anything except what the Father told him to do. And, if, and this, is, this is what we talk about when we talk about worship. We talk about praise. And you never know what's going to happen until you get in that position. Because as Peter, we may think we're just like Peter, we can do everything and we're never going to turn our back on God. We're never going to say anything. That you don't know what you're going to do 